call me Canadian, but there's one thing I really love, and that is drinking tap water. So that is yet another reason Ivana and I are very glad to be back in Cluj. And I say back in Cluj because technically we were here once before. Yeah. For one day it was raining and so we kept on on our road trip. We didn't see much. So today will be our first day exploring a city so historic it earned the nickname the heart of Transylvania. Wow. So come with us for our adventure in Cluj, Napoca. I think it's time to go to the sky. So it seems like this hill is right in the center of Cluj because it feels like there is an entire 360 degree walking path here which serves as a really nice viewpoint and I love the way there's not many modern skyscrapers. A city like this is so nice to view from above because all of the orange roofs and all of the architecture and all of the crosses poking up as the highest object in the skyline. Something about it just feels right compared to a modern skyline that's just all sort of skyscrapers. Now we did notice the super massive football stadium that looks like a million bucks by the river or maybe more like a hundred million bucks and we also noticed the main cathedral or main church which looks amazing sort of the highest object in the city and I'm assuming it's in the old town so I think next we'll go down to that main cathedral which should be a part of the old town where the architecture and the feeling will be like a million bucks oh man I'm glad to be back in Romania these cities I mean this is the second largest city in Romania and it feels like small town that's true. No skyscrapers. No skyscrapers, just old buildings, old historical buildings. Just right. Oh, okay, no. join us guys. Next stop, the old town. Let's go. So Cluj is actually a university city, which is sort of interesting because it's also got 2,000 years of history. So the city dates back to millennium and yet it's full of students nowadays, which provides a pretty unique energy because there's all these young people around walking past historical sort of incredible buildings. And so we've come to the main cathedral here. It's under construction now. And if I remember correctly, last year when we were here, it was also under construction. So when they're done, I'm sure it's gonna be a huge job they've completed. But I tell you what, it's all coming back to me now. We've got a lot of the buses around with the rabbit ears, the electric buses. We've got a lot of electric scooters around that students are zipping around on. We've got architecture everywhere and it's just hitting me. We are back in Romania. I love the energy of uh, Cluj. The students with the architecture, yeah. just an incredible... Vibrant, very vibrant. Very vibrant. And if I remember correctly, you bought this shirt in... Bulgaria? <laughs> Bukovina. <laughs> Bukovina last year. Now, it is just starting to rain a little bit. Maybe we'll duck inside and grab some lunch. Yeah. Or a cold so. drink at the very least. Good. Dude, first impressions of Cluj, it's good. Love it. Love it. Glad to be back. Glad to be back. <laughs> oh, oh, we can't go in this time, Ivana. It's just a construction over here. So I stand corrected. I think we can go in the church. Let's check it out. If I remember correctly, last time everything was fully closed. Maybe they've done the inside and it's just uh, the front that is uh, under construction. Just like that, all of the noise of the city is gone. It's completely silent and it is absolutely incredible in here. The high ceilings with all the concrete work and the huge pillars, all the pews row by row. Really a sight to behold, right in what appears to be the center of Cluj. Wow.
Wow. St. Michael's Cathedral, which is seemingly right in the center of Cluj. And it turns out when we were on the hill, mm -hmm. we were looking at the back of it. Right. I think the front is just over there. Completed construction in the year 1487. So it's nearly 550 years old, which is something we just don't have in Canada. So it's always mind boggling to me to see a 500 year old cathedral, which is right in uh, downtown, the old town where there's restaurants and people all around, especially students all around from the universities. Right. And then right here you have a 550 nearly year old cathedral. Beautiful. Canada just doesn't have the 500 year old stuff. <laughs> so it's always uh, amazing for me to see. Wow, so far so good in Cluj. Wow. Check this out. An absolutely lovely looking restaurant here. Full of young people enjoying a beer and a meal charming it's very charming in the old town and it's right beside the house where the king was born the king from the year 1458 or so That's right. which is probably why there's a statue of him beside the cathedral he might have been the one to finish the cathedral now that i think about it matthias corvinus on the statue at the church they were calling him matthias rex so the romanian Matthias Corvinus is considered the greatest of all Hungarian kings due to his achievements during his reign, 1458 to 1490. He was born right here in this house. Oh, that's so cool. And it's right beside a pub. <laughs> Lots of restaurants nearby. I love nearby. that the history is incorporated right into the city. Yes. It's like impossible to walk around the city without passing it's something like historical. A walking open air museum here Amazing. in Cluj. I love it. It's got a good energy in Cluj. <laughs> and you combine the fact that it's a university city, it's kind of young and artistic mm -hmm. and historical. I'm loving Cluj. Oh, I love it. I'm so glad to be back in Romania. Wow. No rock, Ivana. No rock. Good wine. Let me tell you what I love about Romania. Well, first of all, on a patio of this quality, in front of a building of this history, uh, beer is $2. That's nice. But what I mean is, um, it feels like not a lot of people know about Romania yet. True, right? Right. Like in Europe, it's Italy is world famous. Right. And Asia is Thailand or Bali. But I like going to a place that feels like it's under the radar. Mm. So when I tell someone I like traveling Romania, they say, really? And then it becomes <laughs> a nice conversation. So I feel good about a place that's... You know, not so right, famous yet. Right, 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 right. It's very underrated. I think so. Yeah. A lot to offer in terms of tourism. Yes, I agree. All right, we've come to Central Park here, which, by the way, is this seemingly infinitely long strip with gigantic trees on both sides, to the point that Ivana is having allergies yeah. in the fall. <laughs> That's right. I don't know why something's in the air. Hoping you're not sniff. hoping you're not allergic to good times. <laughs> because oh, I'm no. having good times here in Romania. Now, there's actually a uh, pond over here where you could rent a pink flamingo mm -hmm. or some other type of paddle boat and cruise around. Did you know my dad actually proposed to my mom on a white swan, very similar Ooh, to that? Ooh, very romantic. Wow. Uh-oh, Ivana's got that look in her <laughs> eye. And there's actually a casino up here that's no longer a casino. It's like a historical building mm -hmm. turned into an art gallery. Right, beautiful. Really beautiful place. Uh, unfortunate for Ivana's allergies because I was hoping we could find some fella selling some meat right over here. Yeah. Some little snacks, street food, yum-yums. Yeah, we're hoping Cluj will have a lot more street food scene but so far nothing yet especially here there's people all around and i'm sure at least 40 percent of these people want to eat meat right now <laughs> <laughs> but anyway I'm getting hungry same right <laughs> yeah getting hungry uh so let's uh start the food hunt here in Cluj. you know what's nice about Cluj? whenever you're lost because there's no high rises see the cross walk towards the cross yeah 
That should be the that's cathedral. Right. That should be the old town. We can find some food over there. That's true. That's very convenient. Yeah. No need for Google Maps. Just <laughs> look towards the, the high cross, like the, like the North Star in the sky. That's true. <laughs> Yo! I forgot how fun it is to fly drones <laughs> in Romania. Let me tell you, from the sky, Cluj is so beautiful. The architecture here, oh my goodness, it felt like every way I point the drone, it just looks amazing. I absolutely love these kind of cities where all the buildings have these unique domes on top of them. All the roofs are the old clay tiles. I love the architecture here in Cluj. Honestly, a modern city with a big glass and steel monstrosity can be beautiful too. But for me, I really prefer a place like this. Yeah. It's so groovy. It's like this. Uh, a modern city uh -huh. is beautiful in the same way a model is beautiful. Wow. Right? It's like emotionless, like a model, like admire me. Ooh. But a city like this is beautiful like a groovy chick with That's a yellow right. shirt, some dyed hair, Every cool sunglasses. Details. Hot. From the window to the door to the rooftop, it's beautiful. It's way more character yes. in the beauty. <laughs> exactly. Love it. Now, we did see from the sky, there's another church and or cathedral down here. Uh, maybe not as grand as St. Michael's, but I think it's worth checking out. And I will say this, my only bad review of Cluj so far. What? We have not seen a Luca. I could oh, really yeah. go for a Haidu Chesk right now. I my mouth is in Haidu Chesk here. mode. I haven't seen any. Maybe we're, it's only in Bucharest. Not sure. Yeah. We're on High Duchesk and Meech Lookout. Mm -hmm. First impressions of Cluj. Uh, it's a good first impression. We just saw a building over there that looks like it was designed for maximum visual awesomeness. Yes, the Unf opera building. The opera house. Unfortunately, closed for renovation. Same like St. Michael Cathedral. Yeah. Bit of a bummer. But let me tell you, if you're a photographer, which we are not, let's be clear, we are YouTubers. <laughs> don't need to flatter ourselves. But if you have any interest in capturing architecture, Cluj is the place to be. Everywhere you look, we got fountains over here, we got cathedrals, opera house, you name it, it's like jaw dropping. And actually, it's so beautiful. Even the random buildings are beautiful. Absolutely. You know? Even the buildings in between the landmarks yeah, are yeah, beautiful. Exactly. I would say Cluj is good for your posture because as you're walking down the street, you're always looking up here. You know, it's very good for your uh, vertebrae up here. Always looking up, you know? Get yourself off the phone and get yourself onto the Cluj architecture. Right. Very nice. Good. Yes. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Oh my goodness. No Mitch, but we got burgers. Still good. Still good. Oh my gosh, look at this french fries and the special burger with zucchini. Zucchini? <gasps> zucchini, baby. Oh my gosh. Okay, hit it, baby. Oh my goodness. Hit it. Mm. Oh, good thing you're wearing a multicolor shirt because you're going to be wearing that burger. So good. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, it's so good. Especially after a day of walking around the city. Amazing. Mm. Boom. Going to parks. Up the hill, going to parks. Over there. <laughs> going Not to up. churches. Not going up. to the main square. So good. No rock. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you in the next oh. video. Hopefully so we can good. find some Mitch and some high glute chest. Mm, mm -hmm. We can't talk anymore. It's too good. Mm. Just moaning. <laughs> so good.